Okay, coming up next, I have a real special treat here from Osme Perfumery, all the way from France, and Parfums de Nicolai, their latest relaunch, Caravan Sarai. I hope I pronounced that correct. We have Damien here, just a tremendous asset for the company. He was here actually uh, probably about six months ago with their latest release at that time, um, the Riviera Verbena. Now he's back to tell you everything about this fragrance. And I'm going to do a quick video here because I'm going to tell you this is already becoming one of my favorite coffee fragrances. Stay tuned to find out a little bit more. So welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose. That's my little sign. Uh, we have here Damien from Nikolai Parfums. I always, is it Parfums de Nikolai? How, how do I say it? It's correctly. <laughs> so <laughs> Parfum de Nicolai, well, hello to everyone. Hello. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, the, when the brand was created, it was called Parfum de Nicolai. Yeah. But then now it's just Nicolai. It's Nicolai Parfumeur Creator. Okay. Because now it shows that we are really a perfumer behind the brand. So, yes. yes. Okay. I wanted to get that straight because, yeah, yeah I've always noticed the little nuances there. And uh, today we're here because he's visiting all the way from France. Yes. And why yes. are you here for this well, I'm wonderful new creation? Yes, I'm here to present the new perfume of Nicolai that we launched uh, this month, which is called Caravan Serai Intense. So let me just hold yeah. it up to the, sure. so people can see there. It's there a complex you, word. <laughs> so this is a complex word. Actually, I gotta get my eyes out of there. Hold on, right? Okay, you can see the bottle, of course, the classic uh, yeah. Nikolai bottle. But so this word is interesting, and, and I was learning all about it just a few minutes ago as you were describing, and I think this story is amazing, and yeah, one people well, would want yeah, to hear. Well, look, um, if, to explain this perfume, you need to go in a long time ago, before, before Christ, you know, because it was a time of the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire. And they opened new markets because they wanted to go east, Alexander the Great, they wanted to go to India, China, and they discovered very nice things that we didn't, we didn't know in Europe at that time, like silk, like spice and stuff. So they opened routes for these people because they don't have plane, not even uh, sailing boats or so That nothing. would be like the Silk Road originally? Yes, okay. yes. Right. They, they started with the Silk Road and then, then it happened with the spice road okay. and then the perfume because the spices we use in, in the food industry was also used in perfume, of course. Uh -huh. And what is this Caravan Serra is that, of course, it was a long walk. I mean, from China to Europe, <laughs> you imagine, yeah. right? Yeah. And so every 30 kilometers, people could rest and they built little hints that we call Caravan Serai. And it was a safe place for these people because okay. it was a very dangerous thing to go. This was like a like a like little like resting place. Okay. Was yes. it, was it, so it was like a like a covered area? Yes, it okay. was a very covered area protected by guards. Oh. And over there while people they were doing commerce, they were uh, discussing, you know, news of the world because all the cultures were, were there. It was like the CNN of the time, you know, oh. everybody was there. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and it, the word come from caravan, you know, the caravan, it's because it was mostly the people who, who would bring the spices or the silk used camels. So okay. it was caravan of camels. Okay, so caravan, that makes sense yes. in English. And yeah. Serai, it's all the fuss around you, you know, if you are king or prince, you're not alone, okay? You're okay. yourself and all the That's people That's like your entourage, you. right? Entourage, yes, perfect. Okay. So Serai is like the entourage. Okay. And so Caravan and Serai, we call it Caravan Serai. Caravan Serai, yes. okay, there you have it. So it's like basically all the, your, your, your things that you'd be traveling with yes. in this long journey and all your entourage and all the people that would be with you. And they Beautiful. go in this place. And it's this place, what do they do? So they uh, exchange, they discuss about things, but they also drink coffee. And this is very, very important because that's the purpose of this perfume. Because also the inspiration of this perfume actually comes because Patricia loves when she goes to the Middle East. She was, she's always felt uh, nicely, warmly welcomed by the Arabic customer there. And they felt, they felt you welcome by giving you a coffee. But it's not just a simple coffee. The Arabic coffee is very particular. It's like coffee mixed with some spice and especially, especially cardamom. Uh, so okay. it had a very funny, weird, wonderful smell that Patricia wanted to reproduce in this perfume. So it's like a tribute to this, to this world with the name and with the sense which is inside. I think what maybe some people don't know, and I, I remember I learned this last time you were here, that Patricia de Nicolai, the, the founder, yeah. and she's also the perfumer, yes, right? So she does the all the perfumes. All of them, yes. That's really amazing. You don't see that very often no, in a, very rare right a now. perfume house, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cool. So when, so on her trips to Arabic regions, she yeah. always felt this warm 
culture yeah, and yeah. embrace and thought this would be a good a idea good for perfume. to them. Okay. Yes, because you know, they, that is something, you know, to feel you comfortable, they offer you this coffee all the time. Even if you don't like it, you, yeah. just, you just have to drink it. <laughs> but, uh, but, but then she'll really like that smell. And then the challenge, that's the big challenge, it's, it's how to produce like a food drink smell into a perfume, you know? And that is very challenging. That is, yeah, it's basically, <clears throat> excuse me, taking yeah, almost like a, I, it's, I guess it would, I, when I first met you today, I said this reminds me of like a, a spicy coffee gourmand fragrance, which I've never really smelled before, so it had to have been difficult. And that's, that's the perfect name because that's especially the name of the family of this perfume. It's a spicy gourmand, you find it right. Spicy gourmand. Yeah. So can you tell us, all right, so obviously, what are some of the, the main notes that are yeah, in so here? Yeah, at, so at, for sure, when you, when you start smelling this perfume, immediately, like immediately when you arrive in the Caramel Serai, you smell the coffee mixed with the cardamom. That's the ah, first thing you okay. smell immediately. Then it fades a little bit, and then it goes with more of the woody side that Patricia loves, like sandalwood and patchouli, obviously. Okay. And then at the end, all this finishes doing its work uh, thanks to an amber base, but not like the simple amber base that, you, that we all know, like the amber, the mix of vanilla scents. No, it's the other amber. It's the amber could be confusing in perfume, but it's called the ambroxan, which is a molecule that actually is will constitute the real smell of the sperm whale ambrogris. Yes, and, and I know a lot of people out there hear that term ambrox or ambroxin, which is a, yeah. a aroma chemical that, as, as Damien just said, it, it is basically the reproduction or, the, yeah. or close to as perfect reproduction of ambergris. Yes. Which is a beautiful note that helps right, lift and give balance and longevity, right? Yeah, and, it's, and also why we will produce this is because naturally it's very difficult to have natural ambergris because yeah. it's, it's like a pop lock, it's like casino because yeah. you never know how to find this ambergris. Yeah. It's something that you find just randomly <laughs> on the beach, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it's something, some people at the time, you know, they saw that, oh, it's, it's not good for animal protection. We kill this animal to get it. But actually it's wrong because we don't need to kill it. Yeah. We need to have more of this. Actually, yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's, you're right. Yeah. And I've lived here in Miami my whole life on next to the beach and I've never seen it. <laughs> I'm always hoping one day I'm going to get this big, you know. Uh, yeah, I read sometimes was some guy in Wales he found this, he thought it was an asteroid, you know? Oh, yeah. And then he went to, like, to the scientists and said, okay, I found an asteroid. He said, no, this is not that. And he got a lot of money of it, for sure. Mm. So, you know, as you were describing this, and, and I first smelled this a couple weeks ago, to me, it is already one of my favorite kind of coffee oh, fragrances. Beautiful. I really, you. you know, obviously Appreciate I love it. this, you know, uh, your, you know, your house, and I love what Patricia does. I love the art of the perfumery that she brings to niche perfumery. But this one is, what, what caught me is, is this spicy coffee, but it's also got this like hint of chocolate. Yes. That just is a, like so luscious. It almost feels like you can eat this. You found this hint of chocolate, you're right, because to recreate this, so we use natural coffee. It's absolute coffee that comes from Turkey. Ah. And if you smell pure coffee absolute, it has indeed like a chocolate facet. Yeah. yeah. And I've had Turkish coffee. That is strong, yes, right, coffee? Yes, And I know sometimes if I, if I remember right, they, when they serve it to you, it has the, some of the coffee grinds in the bottom of the... Mm, yes. So it's like really, really, really Very strong. strong. Yeah, yes. But you know, this is why when the, the coffee in the Middle East, they call it the kawa because it's a mix between the Turkish coffee, which is very strong, and this, they put sweetness and more freshness by mixing the, uh, the, uh, the spice like cardamom. That's his one. Yeah, the cardamom gives it definitely this kind of a spicy, it's a but a little bit spice. fresh. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's almost like a... Eucalyptus facet. Also. Yeah, yeah al mm. almost, almost a little bit citrus, but not yes. quite there. It's, it's, it's kind of doesn't go quite that far, but it's a very nice yes, combination. Yes, and this is why cardamom is also very used in the Indian cuisine for like a dessert or for sweet yeah. cakes, you know, because it's very appreciable. I don't think people realize that, but you're right. I, I know I have Ice Indian creams, friends and yeah. they use that for almost yeah. everything, not just the regular meals, but no, desserts. No, no. Of course, there's a lot of desserts. This, I mean, so this really, really, I think encapsulates all that very well. I'm wearing it today, actually on my hand right here, and I put it on about probably an hour and a half ago and the dry down just is really now starting to get into that the creaminess of the sandalwood and that patchouli but the coffee is still there it's just like a 
just a warm coffee. Like you said, I can just picture sitting around yeah. talking, <laughs> talking about the news yeah. of the day, kind of like we are today, right? Yeah, of course. Two people from other sides of the of world. Of course, yeah. And the, the uh, Patricia said the, sin, the word symbolic to this perfume is hospitality. Yeah. Yes, that's the important uh, thing to have. Well, it's, it's a wonderful addition to the perfume world and to the hospitality world. And of course, I want to thank you for well, merci beaucoup. Thank for you very much. bringing merci it to us and, and, and to Patricia. And um, thank you for joining yes, the video today, Damien. Yeah, it was great thank to you. see you again. And guys, I'll be back soon, as always, with another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, merci.